Hey guys, Mooglore here, and today I just want to talk about Dead or Alive. Now, I know it's been a while since I talked about Dead or Alive here on this channel, but it just recently I was just digging around and I had discovered some disappointing news. And it looks like that Dead or Alive 7 was at one point in development and they decided to cancel um, the game. And we go we're going to go into it um, in the article that um discusses this issue but as far as dead or alive is concerned it's been one of my favorite fr uh, fighting game franchises for a very 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 long time i first played dead or alive personally on the sake of dreamcast now i heard of dead or alive when it featured on ps1 but at that time i wasn't really playing fighting games as much and it just wasn't my thing but dead or alive 2 on the sake of dreamcast have really just opened me up for the series i just love the fact is that it was a fighting game to where it was just create these epic like set pieces as far as fighting games are concerned. It was the first time I ever saw a fighting game where you're able to just knock your opponent through a window or knock them down a flight of stairs and then your character just chases after them and then you just continue and pick up the fight at that exact location where you knock them down um, into. And then it also had a multiplayer feature with its tag team uh, mechanics where you get play up to four players. It was just everything that I need in a fighting game and then the bonus was the girls were hot that was the bonus to it but i have been following the game and been playing the game um ever since the dreamcast era and then when found when dead or Alive 6 had finally launched it just seemed like the game just it just wasn't what it used to be and dead or Alive 6 was some of the worst worst way of how to implement dlc and it seemed like the Dead or Alive 6 didn't respect its fans at all with the amount of DLC and then how bare bones the game it was with a lot of the features that was removed from the game, especially tag team. How do you remove tag team and don't have that in the game at launch and don't have it at all? And I was really, really disappointed of what they done with uh, Dead or Alive 6 and I didn't even spend none of my money on, their, on any of the DLC. They weren't getting my money or any of my support as far as that's concerned. And then that's when they had the abrupt, um, so, you know, just discontinuation of supporting the game out of nowhere uh, with Dead or Alive 6. And when that happened, I was saying to myself, okay, maybe they, le they learned their lesson and they're going to go back to the drawing board and actually give us the Dead or Alive game that fans definitely deserve and the respect that the fans of the series definitely deserve. And it seemed like that may have been the case um, with Dead or Alive 7. So we're going to dive into this article and then I'll give you my thoughts. So we're going to definitely check it out. There's an article here at Gaming Ball. Dead or Alive 7 was in development, but then got canceled, developers say. Team Ninja's Hiroki Morita says a new Dead or Alive game was being made by a small team before eventually getting canceled. I, like, I'm just disappointed just by just hearing hearing Dead or Alive and then canceled. So, Dead or Alive 6 launched three years ago, and, if, and for a franchise that has been around as long as this one has, this means series fans are beginning to wonder how long of a wait it will be before the next installment arrives. While that question can only be answered by Koei Tecmo, it seems some interesting information on the subject has come to light. Recently, Team Ninja Hiroki Morito, Morita took it to Twitter and revealed that the following of the launch of Dare Alive 6, a small team at the studio was focused on releasing a small, small updates for the game, as well as in the development of Dare or Alive 7. The latter, however, ultimately got canceled when Yohei Shimbori, a key member of the series creative team, retired. Ooh. Morita has since then made his Twitter account private. But you can check out a catch version of the re re relevant tweet through here. Let's so we're gonna check out this real quick. And that's the thing, things never go away. You know, I have to translate that. Things never go away on the internet. Things will always just Google Translate. Google Translate this. It may not be perfect. After a release of Dare Law 6, a smaller team was developing Dare Law 7 and Dare Law 6 minor changes, but it was decided to disband the team 
and canceled the project just before P. D. Shibori retired. Wow. So, so it looks like that's what ended up being the case. And we'll get into that. Of course, that doesn't necessarily indicate that there are no plans to go back to the fighting series for Team Ninja. Projects getting scrapped and then eventually pick back up again isn't the most uncommon thing in game development. But at the very least, it's clear that the wait for Dare Alive 7 is going to be longer than what it could have been if things had uh, panned out differently. Then again, the gaps between new installments in the series have often stretched out quite a bit. A series fans won't be too, uh, won't be too surprised here. Currently, it's known that Team Ninja is working on a new action game based on Romance of Three Kingdoms, but whether the studio has also has additional projects in the work is unknown. All right, so that's what it looks like for this. And I'm gonna just give you my thoughts and my opinions on this because yeah, it is disappointing news. I'm a big fan of Dead or Alive. I love the series, like I said before. Now, the fact is that we have one of the main figureheads um, retiring um, uh, from the studio, it looks like that leadership is now gone, meaning that there's no direction to take it. And it does make sense to want to just hold back on it and cancel it for now until you bring in some a fresh mind or maybe a younger mind um, to come in and just, you know, shake things up a bit um, moving forward. And I also think that, you know, there's still hope for, you know, a Dead or Alive 7. I don't think it's going to be canceled. But I think it's smart for the studio to realize that, hey, if our main head is not here or the main brain um, to help with the series is retiring, then it doesn't make sense to continue on with the development without any leadership or any direction. And then, you know, we'll get Dead or Alive 6 all over again. You know, like you will just put out another Dead or Alive and then it ends up being trash and missing features and it just be end up being bare bones or half assed. And we don't want that for Dare Alive. I think Dare Alive series definitely need to be respected along with its fans. So I much, you know, rather them sit back and just put it on the shelf for now until they figure out what to do. And I'm really looking forward to the future of Dare Alive, especially that we have, you know, next generation consoles here. And as a fan of Dare Alive, the thing I can say about Dare Alive is that when it comes to fighting games and its visual fidelity, Dare to Alive always knocked it out of the park with his physics, with his, with his visual presentation, and, and how the game moves and how the game feels. And it, it has always been in the forefront of fighting games as far as visual fidelity. And I noticed that with Final, with uh, Dead or Alive 6, it, it, it didn't have that, that, you know, that crisp to it. It didn't push the envelope as far as visual fidelity is concerned and it was kind of like a disappointment because it's always a leader in how fighting games should look moving forward so the fact is that they're sitting back and they're reassessing everything to figure out what to do with the series moving forward now that this leadership going and how they can they really move forward with this i think it's best for that to happen but it's kind of disappointing at the same time for those who were looking forward to getting their hands on another dead or alive game and i said this you go back to my old videos when I made the video talking about three years ago, the cancellation or the discontinued support for Dead or Alive 6, I said that they gotta be working on Dead or Alive 7 for them to abruptly discontinue their support. The game wasn't even out that long and they just discontinued their support for 6 because of the backlash and just everything about it. And I said, they have to be working on Dead or Alive 7. That's the only, it just doesn't make sense to just, just abruptly just discontinue the support just like that and then just go, just go radio silence for that long. So it seemed like that was something they were trying to do um, moving forward with Dead or Alive 7 while improving Dead or Alive 6 while we wait for 7. But that's just my overall thoughts. Uh, I just hopefully that we'll see a much better, more improved Dead or Alive game um, moving forward. Um, maybe a, a reboot or something they can do to just keep the fans um, satisfied, keep the fans happy. But I definitely want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the cancellation of Dead or Alive 7. Um, are you a fan of Dead or Alive in general? Do you love the series? If you do love the series, what do you like about the series? Um, if you don't like the series, tell me why you don't like the series. Um, but it's just, it's a bummer, but hopefully we'll, hopefully there's some light at the end of the tunnel. So if you like the video, hit the like button, hit that red subscribe button. It really helps me out in the algorithm. And also hit that bell to be notified for more fighting game news and just video games in general. This is Moogan Lord signing off. I'll see you game fiends later. Peace out.